runner, we actually started shooting, but then it got put on hold because of budgeting issues. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen with that one. Um, that was a cool one because I played like a sidekick assassin type person. So I was more oh, like a badass. Yeah. It's like, yes, I'm not just some cute little quirky innocent girl. I'm like, I've got a gun and I'm going <laughs> to hurt you. But I'm sly and conniving. You know, I like that. Um, and then Fearless is supposed to be the sequel to Music High. Okay, see it has no information so you don't know. So. Yeah, um, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know when it starts. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. I know, Just... Fearless says rumored, so it doesn't... Yeah, well I think if they do do it, then I would do it because it's my character. Just... Right another time right but I don't know if it's actually gonna go so what else do you have in the works anything not besides the uh, the web series that one is going but I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually trying to build my YouTube channel and I was trying to think of what I would do on it but I'm starting this movement where I'm basically gonna go around and give out like bracelets. It's, it's basically a movement of generosity and acts of kindness for no reason. So. I love that. Yeah, it's really fun. Well, this is the story of why it came up. So, basically, um, I was driving on Highland, and we were stopped. And you know how there's cars going this way, there's cars going this way? I was, like, fixing my hair, and this guy rolls down his window. He's like, hey, hey. And he threw a bracelet at me. He goes, add that to your collection. Because I have so many bracelets on my wrists all the time. And uh, I was like, and then he drove away. Don't know his name, didn't know who Weird. he was. He didn't say anything else. That was it. And I was like, that's really cool because it intrigued me. And I was like, I want to find him. I want to know who that was. And I want to know why he did that. You know? And then I was like, this is a great this would be something cool, because what if I did that to somebody? I have so many bracelets, so I started to do that. I would, um, people would ask me what these bracelets were. They're Pure Vita bracelets. So when you buy them, you're supporting um, giving jobs to people in Costa Rica. And it's just cool. I just like the meaning behind it. I like that. And each one, they'll, they'll also donate to a different charity. So they can be like Red Cross or whatever it is that you support. They have specific bracelets for that that you can wear and support and donate to, basically. But you also get a cool bracelet. So sometimes people will be like, what is that? I'm like, oh, here, you want one? And then they just have it. And it's like, why not? Why not do that? Because that one act will make you think, what can I do? You know, what is it? Like, how can I give back? How? I don't know. It's just like a simple, simple act of kindness. And, and inexpensive too, right? Especially so, something like that, which which does look very interesting, does, right? And it's like the cost to make that is nothing, right? Yeah, it's like so great. So I figured what I'd do is I'd make a whole bunch of bracelets, but make it. I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to connect it so that we can build a community through it. So as I give them away and they give them to other people, we can watch and see how it travels around the country and around the world and where these bracelets end up and build a community that way. Well, I'm in business school right now, so I'm like trying to get my resources to figure this out for me. How do I make these things?